Kendrick Dish here, founder of Shoot for Results and Kendrick Dish Creative. And I wanted to talk about something today. I wanted to talk about this Fuji X-T2. I bought this camera about a month ago, maybe six weeks ago, and I've been playing with it ever since. Bought several lenses, um, sold my Canon gear, and have been playing with this camera. I haven't used as much as I hoped I would, but uh, I made two previous videos about this. First one I was thinking about it, uh, then after I made my decision, and in neither one of those videos did I actually talk about in detail what was going on in my mind and my thought process for actually switching to Fuji away from Canon. So I thought I'd make a pretty short video talking about those reasons, and I'll make another video about what I think about the Fuji X-T2 so far. But first, uh, what was going on in my mind that made me even think about the idea of switching to a whole new system, to selling off all my Canons and buying, investing into a whole new platform. The main thing that I want to talk about in this video was actually that I was already open to change. Um, my mind had been cleared of uh, loyalty. Uh, Canon hasn't been innovating as much as other brands have been. Sony has been coming out strong. Panasonic has been coming out strong. Fuji's been coming out strong. And so I'd been playing with some of these other cameras. I've used this Panasonic GH4. I've used the Sony a7S II. Now I've used the Fuji. Uh, I've been a Canon user for 15 years, so I've used a lot of their products. In fact, I, here's, here's my pathway. Here's what I used. I had a Canon 20D, a 50D, a 60D, a 70D, a C100. I'd used the 5D Mark II on hundreds of shoots. Uh, I've used the 5D Mark III several times. Uh, I use a C, uh, C300 on a few shoots. And so I would say that I've been used to Canon. I've used Canon professionally uh, for a long time. So why was, I, why was I open to switching? It was the innovation factor. Canon just hasn't been innovating as much as other brands have. And for my videography, I wanted to look elsewhere. And for my photography, I wanted to look elsewhere. And so I just was thinking, I was like, you know, it's like driving the same car for, for 14 or 15 years. Maybe there's a better car out there. Maybe you just gotta try it. So in, in my day job, uh, using all sorts of cameras, uh, Panasonic and Sony and Canons, what prompted this actually was that I, my 70D, uh, I had dropped it and broken it and I needed a new camera a new kind of daily camera to have. And so I was in the market for a new camera and I started thinking about, well, what, what camera should I get? So, but then I ran into a photographer here in Atlanta uh, named Aaron Curry. And I was talking to him and I said, tell me why you choose Fuji. And he said, it's the camera that feels like it was designed the way I want to shoot. And I thought that was a pretty strong statement. And so I looked at his work, of course his work is really good, and I was like, if he's getting really great work from the Fuji, then so can I. And so I rented a Fuji X-T2, shot with it for a week, used it on a professional shoot, used it on some personal stuff, and I really liked it. The form factor was nice, the weight was nice, and my mind was just open to the idea of switching. So I said, let me try this. Let me just sell all my gear, which is a big statement. Let me buy some Fuji gear. Let me give this a year. Let me try this new system for a year. And so that's what I did. So my mind was open to the idea of trying something new in order to be more creative. Because I feel like if you try and close your mind and you don't keep your eyes open to new tools and new processes, then you're missing out on potential opportunities. This camera has a different kind of sensor. It has a trans array sensor versus a Bayer type sensor. And what that ultimately results in is a sharper image. And so I feel like now my imagery can go a whole new place with sharpness. That sensor creates uh, more colorful images or it has better color. Fuji is known as having better color uh, because they're a film company. And they, these images that I'm getting uh, are, are really powerful and full of color. And so I'm enjoying using this new tool for that process. So, you know, when and you're in the creative space and you're trying to figure out, you know, what tools do the job, I'd say try and keep an open mind. There's no advantage to having loyalty if that's not the best tool for what you're trying to do. 
I'd say keep your eyes open, look around, and keep learning. So at least that's kind of what I was thinking. That's where my mind was. It was about being a better photographer. And if that means not having loyalty towards a specific brand of gear, that's fine. I felt like it was time to take another look in another direction and see what else was out there. And so for me personally, it was the right choice at the right time. Am I gonna miss that Canon gear? I already miss it. I'm already thinking, man, I, I, I think I want those that 24 to 70 back. I think I want that 7200 back. And the reasons I might want those back had to do with video, not photography, and other cameras that I might be interested in in the future. So that's why I wanted to switch to Fuji. So if you're interested in learning more about my process with photography, video, technology, uh, digital stuff, um, subscribe to the channel. I'll keep updating, keep talking about Fujis, keep talking about Canons, keep talking about cameras, talk about microphones, and we'll, we'll keep learning together. Hit the subscribe button or else maybe give it a thumbs up. You'll see some more. And otherwise, just thanks for watching. I look forward to hearing your comments.